right, hi there, hello, how are you? I hope you're having an absolutely amazing, fantastic day so far. Today we have a new cannabinoid to try. It is called THCV or tetrahydrocannabivirin and I've got it for Moonwalker. I've been giving it a try. You've definitely seen it. If you've watched my last few videos on my home channel and on this channel, I've been giving this a good test trial run because I like to test everything before I explain to you how it's supposed to make you feel. I wanna get like my full head wrapped around it before I show you and THCV is freaking amazing. So in those videos, you may have noticed that I've been a bit more natural, like a bit more my, I would say my natural self as if I was talking to another person. It's a little bit challenging on camera because I don't have you to talk to in person and I don't I don't have like any feedback and I would love to have a real conversation with you. And I don't get to do that. So oftentimes it feels like a little bit staged or scripted. So in those videos, I would say more natural and more open because of the THCV. As I've tried so many different things and this is the one thing that I've realized has actually helped in addition to my ADHD medication. So let me just throw that out there. I have incredibly difficult executive function, which means I, I want to do the thing. I can't get myself to do the thing. Like I'll get my emails. I'll look at the email. I'll be like, I'm going to read that email. I'm going to leave it unread because I'm going to read that email later and I'm going to reply to it. And then the next day I open it up and I'm like, ooh, I really should reply a good hearty response back to this email. So I'm going to unread it again and then I'll do this tomorrow. And that email will sit in my inbox for two weeks. I know that it's important. I know that I need to get it done. I'm excited to get it done. I can't get myself to do the damn thing. Um, and that's why my husband does most of my emails for me because I literally cannot I can't. ADHD is also known to have a lack of focus and a lack of motivation. And while that is definitely the case for me, I feel like that is also the case for a lot of people. You lack motivation normally. That's a normal thing. And some things in life are just distracting and they happen on the daily and it's fine. But being able to work through it as a normal human being, that's great. I love that for you. But if you can't work through that or you feel like you need a little bit of a boost, I'm going to say THCV. So how do we get THCV? I feel like that's most people's qualms about trying things like Delta 8 is because they see that it's synthetically produced and you immediately are like, no, I don't want that. Well, I'm happy to inform you that THCV is naturally occurring in the plant. It does get harvested from certain strains like Jack the Ripper and Durban Poison. Those are two popular ones that have a higher percentage of THCV in it than other ones, mostly sativa strains. That's where you're feeling like that motivation, that energy, that focus, that drive. It's coming from the sativa and yeah, I can't have the sativa because it just triggers my anxiety off the charts. Um, THCV is like that thing that's helping to boost those sativa strains and that's basically what's been extracted out of the plant, put into this and made into a gummy that we can actually take every day as like a work supplement without feeling high. But it can be considered psychoactive. These ones are 10 milligrams of THCV, which seems to be the magic number. Every case study that I've seen, there was one case study where people took 10 milligrams a day for 13 weeks so that they could see the positive and the negative side effects from it. Um, um, so 10 milligrams seems to be the magic dose. This also has 500 milligrams of ACV. Let me show you the gummies. Um, you have to push down. It's like a little medical bottle. Love that because while it's not, while it is considered psychoactive and you do need to take it in large doses in order for you to get the psychoactive um, effects from THCV, that's not the point. Um, you're taking this so that you can hit the ground running, so that you can actually focus on something. Um, there are a couple, well, I don't even know. It's a negative side effect for me, but maybe not for you. Um, this is what it looks like. It's pretty standard of Moonwalker gummies. It's a chunky little thing. Um, it is kind of sticky. I, I will fully forewarn you if you're used to Moonwalker gummies. They are usually quite a like a like a dense gummy. Whereas the ACV in this one, I think is what's making it a little bit stickier. These ones do say the adult dosage is just one gummy. I only take it in the morning. I feel like that's my most beneficial. That's when I need to get up and going and get things accomplished. And then things kind of wind down um, as the day progresses. So I don't ever feel like I need a re-up. And I also don't take these every single day. Like on the weekends when I don't really need to focus on something, I haven't been taking it. But on days where I need to get a whole lot done, where I need to block record because I have construction going out of my house all next week, then I um, I need to take this in order to focus, in order to get the things done. And I've seen such amazing results. These ones are flavored juicy apple, strawberry, and acai. And um, I think that the flavor is great. I saw some reviews online saying that the flavor was terrible. <laughs> no, these are amazing in comparison to so many other. Like they have that little bit of um, not even a hempy, not even a hempy taste. I don't know what people are talking about. They sticky though. They're, they're not candy. They are like an edible and most edibles have a 
a taste, a, an edible taste. It's like when you put the cannabinoids in it, um, a lot of brands offset it with like a, um, an anti-bitter type of a thing because the flavor can be so aggressive. But I actually don't think they did. There's nothing on the ingredient list that would make me feel like they even had to do that. <laughs> so these do have zero THC in it. Even though it says THCV, that's zero THC in it. Uh, making them fully federally legal, they are hemp derived, which means it comes from the hemp plant, not the marijuana plant. It's part of that federal legalization in order to allow this to be um, mail shipped across the United States. So the positive side effects, the negative side effects, there are so many positive side effects. Of course, everything that I've already mentioned, however, there's way more. THCV is known to have neuroprotective properties, which is very good for your brain and very good on rebuilding. Um, those connections that you need in order to increase your focus for the long term and in order to increase your memory even for the long term which I'm really excited about because my memory is absolute garbage it's also called diet weed and everybody had been calling Delta 8 diet weed for a long time but for a different reason so Delta 8 is considered diet weed because it is less effective than regular weed and it was like the first altenoid that came out on the scene so people were like oh it's less effective let's call it diet weed I kind of liked it a lot of people hated that name for it I think it's kind of cute but THCV being called a diet weed is for an entirely different thing. It is an appetite suppressant. And so for me, that's a negative side effect because I have to fight myself to eat multiple times during the day. Um, so that part of it isn't great, although I can still eat. I can still force myself to eat. I just don't have like that feeling in my stomach that I want to go get a snack. But it seems like a lot of people are taking it specifically for the diet um, properties of it because people are actually implementing it into a weight loss program and and using it as their weight loss supplement, which is absolutely wild to me. I never would have considered <laughs> any cannabis product to be a weight loss supplement. Now, the other thing that could be considered a negative, but also a positive, it's a negative for me, again, is that THCV can reduce the effects of regular THC. It basically dulls the effects, and if you don't know that, that could be a recipe for disaster for you. So I feel like we definitely need to touch on this. Um, if you take THCV on the regular during the day, and then you're also smoking on the regular during the day, you're going to be smoking a lot more which is going to increase your tolerance. We all know why that sucks. Um, but also, you might not take THCV one day and then you'll think that you do need three dabs in order to feel it and then you will be blitzed off your tits in the worst possible way. So, it is important to know. Although the flip side of it is if you do smoke way too much, then you could take this and dull the effects of it um, pretty much within about 30 to 45 minutes. I would say closer to the 45 minute mark, um, you do kind of have to sit there in it for a minute. It's good to know and it relieves your anxiety a little bit to know that you've taken something that's going to help you like come down, that's going to bring you back to a good level ground. Because I think not knowing when this is going to end is like the worst part of it. Or you could just ride it out and be super high for like an hour and a half. But I would rather cut it in half and not want to die. It is still considered a relatively new cannabinoid. Um, there are very minimal research studies actually done on it. However, every single research study that has been done, every single one that I can find has all positive results. I haven't seen any that have listed a negative result of taking too much or taking too little. I don't think that's a thing. And for that reason, it is generally considered safe. It looks like it's going to be the next like big thing. I wish that this was like a type of thing that you could just go to your local store and pick up in the supplement aisle. It's kind of baloney schmaloney that you can't. However, you can get it online. And since this contains no THC and no other altenoids, it is fully federally legal. It's fully legal in all 50 states. Yay. Okay, so that's it. I hope that that was helpful. I feel like I've just discovered the next best thing. I'm so excited to show you. Please, if you're into this type of stuff at all, I love to try all the new cannabinoids. Um, I love to be your guinea pig. Please consider hitting subscribe before you leave. We just hit 10,000 subscribers. We just hotboxed my new luxury sedan. I got a uh, Volvo S60. I will put that video down below for you. Additional information for Moonwalker down below as well. But thank you so much for subscribing, leaving a comment, um, a thumbs up, engaging in any way whatsoever because it definitely helps you YouTube, and now that YouTube is going away, I'm so sad. I feel like there's no safe space for sharing this kind of stuff, but um, hopefully someday things will change. Love you all so damn much. Huge shout out to my patrons for making videos like this possible. For Moonwalker, for sending this my way, this is this is something, oh my god, can I subscribe? Um, you can get a sample pack of these. I want to order it like on a subscription though. Okay, you can't. You get discounts if you order them in two packs or three packs. I, I would say because there's 20 of them in a container, if you don't take them on the weekends and one a bottle a month would work out great for me. Okay, cool, that's it. Love you all so damn much. Thank you all so much for being here. I truly, truly, truly do appreciate it and I'll see you next time. Bye.